We are going for a little run. I'm actually really excited. Today has been a pretty good day so far. Nothing extraordinary happened, but a lot of small things that were really nice happened. So I think the beauty about having those faces where you're kind of low is that every good small thing makes you like so happy. The contrast is like so immense as if you were like on a dopamine fast do you say fast and then you get like one hit and you're like ah! and that's really exciting like i love small moments like a text that's nice or meeting somebody new who's really inspiring and this really brings me a lot of joy but anyway i'm getting ready for a run and i'm taking you with me Cause you know we're doing this together i started working out quite recently but i've been on a roll okay i think i just started working out like two weeks ago actually so not that long ago but i have to say that one thing that always works i swear always is getting new cute workout clothing i've been loving actually dressing cute for my workouts like i'm putting an effort and it's so much fun because i never did it before i was just using whatever I had, which was also not bad, but let me do a little switcheroo. Et voila! I have um, a nice hat, I will show you. That's my workout section, by the way. Oh yeah. I got this hat thing, which I'm literally in love with. I mean, look how great. I kind of get babushka vibes, which I'm obsessed with for obvious reasons. But look how cute this look is. By the way, it's so warm in New York. New York is weird. Like one day it's like minus 10 and then the next day it's plus 20. Not that we have plus 20, but you get my point. Jürgen, are you ready? Yeah. I know he's lying. I know it. Yeah? He wasn't lying. If you don't snack while cooking, what are you even doing? You take a whole piece of garlic, no less. I'm a garlic ambassador and I'm telling you, you have to use the whole thing. I just love garlic and I love onions. I think I'm gonna go for like four pieces. I want all my meals to be with garlic and onions. In the meantime, I will remove the end yeah, why? Tell because us. Because Xenia taught me that that's where all the pesticides are. Yeah, my dad told this to me like 10 years ago and there's no way back. Since I've had this piece of information, I cannot not think about it. So I cannot eat the green like this. Is, -uh. there, is there a way to verify this? I think we could just Google it. <laughs> Because imagine he told you. All this extra work for nothing. But it's one of these things that somehow. They make sense. Yeah. But also, I feel like if my dad tells me something, I wanna give him the the doubt of a. Of a benefit. <laughs> Is there a reverse doubt of benefit? Trust me, bro. <laughs> Source. <laughs> Trust me, bro. Hey, Jürgen, how are you feeling? One to ten. Um, you mean after the running? Yeah. It's like very high up, so I would say like a nine. Oh wow. You? I'm just hungry. I'm so hungry. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I finished a whole 
batch of olives. What do you like most about cooking yourself? Chopping. I especially love chopping onions and garlic. I could do this all day. It gives me so much satisfaction. You? I love the feeling of having... Fresh food? Yeah, and like having... I mean, I also like to order, obviously, or like eat outside. But I think when you cook yourself, you have the feeling of having accomplished yes, something. Yes, I was about to say. That is so true. You feel like you have your life in, in order. And also it's like something so different to all the things we do each day, like all day long. But don't you think it's funny that we always cook the same thing? <laughs> I think it's because it's not our talent to cook. I just think once we love something, we stick to it, period. Okay, so onions and garlic and tomatoes first, and then I'm gonna show you the good thing that's gonna happen. Shall we talk about food? I kind of am. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who put onions? Oh, wow. Whew. I also don't understand the way it works because it hits me out of nowhere. What's your favorite food? Mine? Mm -hmm. Like, if you could only eat one. Food so, for the rest of your life, what, could, what would it be? Yesterday, I mean, it has to be one dish or one sort of food? One cuisine. That's so easy. This I, is so I mean, easy. the first guess is Italian. Yeah. But then I have to admit, so yesterday we went to an Indian restaurant with my um, spice uh, addiction. I have to say, Indian restaurants are kind of... Hitting the spot. Yeah. Mm, and I yes. love naan, bread, Same. Like, oh my god. I love Indian food. Rice. Mm. Like a spicy curry. Yeah, paneer. I agree. But would you never have pasta again? Mm. Also there's arrabbiata pasta. Exactly. <laughs> or spicy vodka sauce. Oh. Uh, they are competing very high up there. And then I think Italian is just something you can't miss. Is there? Like a sort of noodle in Indian, Indian cuisine? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that on like an Indian card. Oh my god, my eyes. Oh. What's a food that you rarely enjoy, but if you do, it hits the spot? Burger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rarely. No. Um, wait, that's such a good question. I know one. <laughs> I know one for you. This one? So. Oh, yeah. That too, but I was thinking of something else even. One? <laughs> Maultaschen. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys know Maultaschen? Mm. Or is that... I think it's too niche. No, I think a lot of people know it. <laughs> well, I just call it ravioli. Okay. So here we have the onions. Step number two. Oh. I love garlic. You know, we have a friend, he cannot eat garlic and onions. I don't even know how we're friends. Don't you think it's funny? I mean, yeah, it's also sad <laughs> because he gets a very upset tummy. I think he just doesn't like it. Today we met an entrepreneur. She's great. But I thought it's hilarious because no matter what size your company is, because hers is huge. No matter what stage you're in or what's your, what your business is, I feel like every entrepreneur deals with the same shit. If I would sum up what it means to be an entrepreneur, it means being a constant problem solver. <laughs> and this is so funny because when I started, I thought I would be so smart. I would like beat all the like typical mistakes that you make as an entrepreneur. But the crazy thing is, even though you know about them, you still make these mistakes. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? And then I talk to other entrepreneurs and they deal with the same thing. And that blows my mind. I feel like the human experience, if you break it down, it's so universal. Don't you think, Jürgen? Yeah, and the funniest is, yeah, like you said, 
you have listened to this podcast, you read those books, and in the end, you have to make some of the mistakes for yourself. Yeah, you listen to somebody else making a mistake and you're like, ooh, I learned about this, it's not gonna happen to me. Plot twist. First of all, that we all sometimes think we are smarter than yeah. others. And also that you sometimes wanna like make a shortcut. Yeah, for sure. I think both plays a role. I'm not sure if it's called smarter than others. It's more like, like for me, I really thought I would beat the game if I learn about other people's mistakes. So we listen to like all these podcasts and I read all these books and I'm like, oh my God, I gained so much like theoretical knowledge. I'll be so smart. I'm such a great entrepreneur. And you know what's really funny? I'm gonna talk about this a lot because I just have to think about it so often. But I remember in 2021, there was a time where things seemed a little bit too good to be true. And if you feel like something is too good to be true, you're right. <laughs> that goes for everything in life, by the way. I also noticed this with like offers or like you meet somebody, you're like, oh my God, it's gonna change my life. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. It was just so funny because we just like saw each other for five minutes and then Jürgen was talking to another co-founder and she started telling me like, I was like, how was this year for you? And she was like, oh, you know, it was like this, but we made this one big mistake. We did X, Y, Z. And I said, stop right here. I'm like, Jürgen, you have to listen to this. And then literally our first conversation was about everybody's making the same mistakes. It's so, it's so fascinating. Now let's go. I'm gonna show you. The good stuff. No, it needs to do the riz. Where is the riz? I love oil, in case you haven't noticed. I fucking love oil. Oil, onions, garlic, that's my jam. Mmm, the riz. It's risen. Mmm, okay. more riz. <laughs> Okay, now watch the magic. What do you think is happening now? It's risen more. Okay, now we're waiting. And in the meantime, I chopped them carrots. <laughs> so technically you can freestyle with the veggies. But there are some non-negotiables, in my humble opinion. And the non-negotiables are garlic and onion, obviously, tomatoes and carrots. Because I feel like the carrots and the tomatoes, they give everything a very Swedish flavor. And it comes nicely together with whatever you put. Like normally we would add broccoli, but not today because we're trying something different. Potato. Leek. But you can actually put whatever you want. I love adding beans to the soup. And I love butter beans. <laughs> ah. oh, really so funny. It's been a rough night. Okay, now watch this magic. This is the best part. You're making it pop. By the way, this is also really fire pasta sauce. Like this in itself is a great pasta sauce, but the popping part is so good. Brings so much joy. Wow, it's so good, I'm obsessed. Pop, 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 yum, yum. Like this is such a good base for whatever you wanna cook. And it's so easy. Let me add the, this. And then Jürgen, you just let it drizzle. Uh, Jürgen, I think it's time for you to... Put a broth? Yes. You just keep adding whatever you want. I'm gonna add my butter beans. Butter beans is such a funny name. <laughs> Whoever came up with it. And watch what I'm doing now. Look. I'm not getting rid of the salt. The sauce will be part of the juice. Mm. But because I love beans, 
I'm adding more beans. More beans? Because more beans, more fun. You know what I mean? Mm. Wow, that's a lot of beans. Okay. What are, but those are two different kind of beans. Can yeah. you explain? Um, I just did a bean testing, so I bought all available beans in the grocery store and I tried them and these were my two favorites. Look, this already looks so good. Um, nom, nom, nom. Actually crazy because we didn't even add any water. So it's all the tomato and water bean juice. I'm adding frozen peas because again, I'm obsessed. Nice. Okay. Here you need to be a little bit patient. Yeah, you cannot add too much. Very important. Okay, so what is this? Where did you get it from? <laughs> this is vegetable broth. Where is it from? Um, the supermarket. Okay, so you just buy vegetable broth and how much water are we adding? Two times 500, so two cups of those. Wow, you look like you've done this before. I actually haven't done it before. Let's swirl. Are you swirling it? Yeah. You have to swirl harder. Like this? <laughs> oh my god, look guys, and this is why I normally do this. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think it needs to be perfect because it's gonna resolve here anyway. Mm. Mm. Oh, this looks so good. I mean, this is a legit soup. It's actually a legit soup. And now you just let it sit. For a little bit. Wait, let me do a test. Are we adding? I'm doing a test. Okay. The first test. Oh my God, it's do we need, so good. Do we need to add mm. any other spices? Mm -mm. But mm. then I'm a little bit afraid if we add more water, is it getting too watery? Why would we add more water? Because we only added one cup now. Oh, no, that's two cups. Two cups. Ah, okay. What have you been doing? I did four cups then. <laughs> so guys, you are like live seeing how we were able to make the soup even better. <laughs> wow, it's so good. I need to keep trying because I need to make sure it's really good. Mmm, -hmm. oh my god, oh my god. Are you adding any other flavors? Wow, it's so rich in flavor. I don't need to add anything. It's perfect. Like this is already, I could eat this right away, but not without my pasta. Because we went for a run today for 45 minutes, in fact, which is really long for us. So we need to stock up on energy. Wait, salt, almost out. And I just do whatever by feeling. Wow. And then we add a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, we love oil in this household, I'm telling you. We love it, loves it. I think oil is something you shouldn't um, be careful with. Yeah, I think the more the better. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly so good. I really wish I could like give you a taste test. I think AI needs to evolve in a way where we can actually have you taste food somehow. Like a printer that prints out exactly what I have here. So mm. I found this spicy rapini ravioli. Mm -hmm. So of course I will add those. Of course you will. <laughs> of course. I think the yellow kitchen fits your personality so well. <laughs> Thank you. Really, a lot of thanks. <laughs> wow, someone's thirsty. Okay, now watch this. Are you watching? Yeah. Everybody watching. Oh, this is so good, yes. Wow. Yes. Mmm. Parfait. I can't believe your luck because you are literally witnesses of our best soup to date. Mm. Wow. You know what I love about this recipe? It's idiot proof. <laughs> you can't do wrong. Mm. Mm. 
I know what you're thinking. You're like, wait, why does she have so much volume in her hair? Well, while the soup was preparing, I did my little hair routine. And I know what you're gonna ask. You're gonna ask, oh my God, show us your hair routine. And actually, I'm gonna film it for you. It's part of the Vlogmas schedule. So stay tuned. It's so fast, it literally took me like seven minutes. Mm. Here again. Coming. I have a full circle moment. Why? Because we were talking about the one food you could eat forever. And I just realized mine is soup. I could just eat soup. Because you can do so many different... Soups? Mm. Guys, look at my soup. I have it with the tortellini. Cool, huh? Actually, that's pretty good. And it also ties back to something you answered earlier. So it's a full circle moment. So many circles. <laughs> Running in circles. They're so yummy. Mm. Wow, you just have to do this. Trust me on this one. It said spicy on there, it's not spicy. Well, just add your hot sauce. By the way, I don't know how much we actually put in there or how long we just leave it in there. It's more like a, a bit by feeling. <laughs> Which is also the magic of the soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so funny. I used to time everything and now it's really by feeling. <laughs> mm. Now it's spicy.